Welcome back guys to the Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds where we have rescued all sages, we have all gear, all heart pieces, all everything. But we take on the trials within this tower here and we're already up quite a way, 30 floors plus. So let's continue on and see horrible darkness eyes, oh they're the bats, well that's for sure and they're not going to move unless I move. Dropping bombs. Ow, ow, ow. There's something else here then. Where is it? Alright, we need a lantern for this. I guess I could have used the fire. Oh! Who would have thought there'd be enemies within the darkness there? Not me, that's for sure. I thought those eyes, it was pretty much a trap in some senses. Alright, with well, that said. Oh, well, never heart. Too good to be true looking heart. Yes, it was. I was wondering, the platform there looked like it might have fell under me, but no, that wasn't really the problem there. Oh, you're going to put me up right in front of them? That's irritating, to say the least. But either way, now that there's a little bit less of you, we should be able to just swing our sword and clear you out. No problem. That was not worth the heart. I'd have preferred just a clear room, if you know what I mean. But still, let's get rid of some of these, because we're going to get bombed or iced. Depending on how your view of it is. Is that all of you down? No, there was of course going to be more. We'll take them out using the strategy told to us by that man near the desert. Well, that said, more guys in the darkness. Oh my goodness. I did not get the time to go, hey, I need to use my big spin. At the moment, I'm trapped in the corner and that's the worst possible scenario here. Ah! Well, arrows do work quite nicely on you, because if we get hit, we just get plummeted off. And yeah, you may go, ooh, we made it, but we lost a lot of hearts in these last few floors. Well, that said, however, I'm going to stay a little bit away. And hopefully just get to melt you right off the bat. Because I think that's definitely the way to go about doing that. Is that all? No! Will it ever be all? Ever so doubtful, that's for sure. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, oh, I got hit by the ice. Now, these enemies are getting a lot stronger. We're down to 10 hearts. Not going well for us whatsoever. I do not know what that is. But it's got a flaming ball and chain. With that said, it definitely sounds. Like, I'll take it out if I stay at range. The best way to do it. Ooh, a fairy! That's lovely at a time like this. Right there, let's keep going. And now we're being chipped off the edge. Just nice and patiently there. That was nasty. We need to get the damage in when we can, but we took out Bomb Guy. Oh, tried to use my fire rod and didn't get it working at the right time. Well, I definitely put my shield up then. But it still knocked me down no matter what. So after that fairy, we've kind of wasted it. I don't check any... Whoa, icy floor! Definitely the best way to deal with them is going back to the great spin. Still, 43 floors. We can take these at range with a great spin because we're not touching you with our sword. We're just sorting you out manually in some senses. Nice to see you. Farewell. Luckily, we were set up for that one. Right, that said again, we've got another issue with the... Uh, you can chuck bombs at me, sir. That's just not polite. Well, it seems that everyone... Oh, my God, I'm carrying the bombs now? That's not what I intended. That was not my intention whatsoever. Burn that one. In fact, take him off the edge is really a good idea. Whew. Got ourselves out of that just about. That fireball was going, what on earth's in front of me? Oh, 
Right, with that said, I don't think I'm getting out of this without falling down at least once or twice, don't you? Hopefully we can make a couple of them fall. Or trying to do the necessary damage. We have ourselves enough fairies that we can top up if we need to. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we need ice and the... Uh, oh, surely we can use you ice guys on... Ah, uh, hit it. Yes, like that. But all the same again. All right, took out all the ice ones. That's not really going to help us out much. It's staying alive. So I can only dodge so much, these. I'm taking tons of damage there, but it seems I got a bit of invincibility when I landed that last hit. What are you guys? Knocking me off, guys. That's who you are. All right, then. Time to use a little bit of a health restorative, I think. I have a feeling this is going to hurt. Smash all of you. I'm going to need to use another fairy. This trial is massive. And getting worse every second. All these five fireballs? You've got to be kidding me. These guys come up with new moves to annoy me all the time, but if we knock you all off, we're still going. Oh my goodness gracious. Moldorm on an ice platform? Get away from me, fiend. And if I spin attack, I'm off the edge. I'm sure I can hit him when I want to, but he can hit me as well, and he does tons of damage. Right, let's keep ourselves alive in this trial. It's not so much a boss, if you know what I mean. It's like an endless slug fest. I guess the Master Sword, one more hit would... Oh. This is the worst platform to face him on. Not that his original platform and the original was any good either, but... I'm not really making any contact right now, am I? Whoa. And there we go, finish! We're through. Two fairies used to make it. We would have definitely lost all 20 hearts if we didn't. It's more the platforms that are the problem here. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Those rupees are what you're giving me? Well, um... If I was a rich man, la 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 might come to mind. 6,000 rupees all of a sudden. I made some money. Boom, boom, you brought the doom. You're one of a kind, sword boy. Your clear time was 30 minutes, 30 seconds. That's just the battles, of course. If you beat your time on this course, I'll give you some extra rupees just for the extra effort. No, no, we're fine. Oh, yeah, and have a wee little something special you might be interested in as well. Now, this is what I was wondering. Really, really was wondering about. You've got the super lamp. It's bright as ever and has more attack power now. Now you can even use your lamp on your enemies. It's hot stuff. Oh yeah, I've got another very special prize for you. That's only if you're interested, of course. To get it, all you have to do is clear the advanced course again? When you come back to do that, be sure you have one of those bug-catching things with you, okay? Just let me know if you want another go at it. I'm not going anywhere. So with that said, that was the advanced course done, but I've got to do it again to get another power-up? Let's have a look at it. Oh, the super lamp's down there. Eight times the attack power of your old lamp. Wait, is this a weapon? I was slightly expecting it to go boom or something. Hit someone and they explode. Well, that's said and done. We're going to have to go through it again. But this time, I think, with the power of editing. And with the lamp. Oh, it actually did take it down in time. Nicely done. <laughs> we'll see you at the end for the reward. So rich beyond our wildest dreams, we return for the second time. Boom, boom, you brought the doom. You're one of a kind sword boy, I am. Your clear time was 10 minutes and 33 seconds. Because by law, of course, if you're doing things off camera, you do them 10 times better than you did the first time. Not time-wise, but still, not even a single fairy needing to be used. A new record, boom, boom, all around. Here's an extra bonus for you. We got ourselves gold rupee like we need it at 9,999. Oh my, oh my. That's all I can say, literally just, oh ma, oh ma. 
Boom, boom, and sweep like a broom. You've cleared the advanced course twice now, sword boy. As promised, here's an extra special prize for you. And we got the super net. That's one fierce piece of equipment. Now you can even use your net to beat up enemies. How fun is that? Even though I've given you my special prizes, will you still visit? Don't forget about me, okay? Please and thank you. Just let me know if you want another go at it. I'm not going anywhere. But if you want to make money, it definitely seems like the best way to go about it. It's not exactly that hard if you're using the right items, which, supposedly, Gale Rod is that. So, in between episodes as well, just in case, I went and popped myself up on tons of blue potion, which means we are completely healing restorative until the end of the game, you could say. So, with all that said and done, and X is marked on the map, what about you and I get over there? He says, trying to scroll through it all. The blacksmith seems to be the nearest place. You're getting tired? Maybe you should get my grab to brew your potion. I recommend the yellow stuff. I don't need any yellow stuff. The blue stuff's good enough for me. Right then, the blacksmith is our location. And all we have to do is head over slightly. Though with a little bit of lowered HP, of course, due to competitive events. To the castle. Now, should we visit... Ravio, see if he's got something to say before the end. Well, I'm getting some nice hearts here. Just to replenish. Let's get down there ASAP. Nice and fast. See what Ravio has to say, if anything. And then head inside. For the Pegasus boots to boost us around. Oh, but Ravio would be... In the correct place. Not this one. I wonder if he does say anything different. Supposedly he's supposed to say something different every time I visit, but then I lowered my visit times to when I add rupees. He's completely tired out. Welcome back, Mr. Hero! You have nothing to do now, have you, sir? You know, whenever I used to just lounge around, I would think how I'm just a tiny speck in a great big world. And I still believe that I'm a teensy tiny little speck in a world that's so much bigger than I ever thought. But even a speck can change the world if he puts his heart into it. I've got a new outlook on life, and it's all thanks to you, Mr. Hero! I'm glad, but really, is that all he has to say when I'm going in to face the enemy? You got morphed into Ganon as one? I thought, considering the fact that he had all the items, he might have something a little bit more to say. Excuse me, guys. Yes, B's attack. Finally, into the castle we go, though. I'll just dodge you for now. Take on the people on the walkway. Not that we need any rupees anymore, but we'll wake up this weather vein. And head into Lowral Castle. <laughs> Can you hear me, Hero of Hyrule? You have arrived just in time, for Yuga has escaped my bonds. And his minions are loose in Lowral Castle. Give me a moment while I remove the barrier that protects my castle. Then make haste, Dollars! Making haste is what I do best, he says, completely divering. Time to go inside and see what things are like. Oh, it seems Lowral Castle has been given a bit of a makeover, unless this is how it originally was. Positioned and poised above the lava. It's a bit of a worrying thought. Uh, no way up there at the moment. Well, it seems we've got multiple floors. According to this, five floors to get through, so another dungeon, you could say. On top of what we have done. Let's start exploring around, though none of you guys have anything to do. Well, I didn't mean to jump off with the statue. I'm just wondering if I can use this to go around somewhere. Indeed, I can. A red rupee, though, doesn't really give me much solace at the moment, or much of anything. Not really needing, not really wanting, not really desiring a single rupee anymore. Man, 9,999 and four blue potions to the good. You wouldn't expect us. Oh, I remember this scene. Seems like the castle's very memorable. Meanwhile, however, we'll just boost you up in the air. Go to work on defeating you at close range, sir. So we can use that to stun, he says, but this guy is guarding himself ready to blast that out at any point in time. I wonder if I could have just 
chuck that over at him, but no. Yes, you might recognize that layout of that room from A Link to the Past, I think. In terms of enemies and the whatnot, but it's a bit creepy with all the skulls underneath us like that. Hmm. Is there anything this way to get to? Well, it seems like the light fixture would stop me no matter what. Don't you be firing at me, sirs. Use this gel rod that people have said is brilliant. Some people are five rupees gone. We don't need that. No, we don't. Oh, do we really need a lot of things at this point in time? There's a door to the side. And a way upwards over there. It seems like there's a platform off the edge as well. Here. And we're not high enough to get through to wherever that goes. Which is a slight disappointment for me, I've got to say. Not letting me explore. How dare they? Well, let's head into this side room for now. See where it can lead me. Or what treasure chest it can get me. Only rupees at the moment, but I'm wondering if I'm going to be picking up any keys whatsoever, he says when he meets. Hmm. A complete and utter gap with nothing seemingly on the other side. Don't know if that was a place or a chance to hook shop, but now we've got full HP. We're looking in a good state. A continued exploration. Is that the boss door, you say? Well, we'll keep moving forward and hope for the best. Alright, needs bombs in here. Are these some puzzle rooms that we got going on? Hmm. Well, if it says it needs the bombs... Let's get them equipped first and foremost, and then see what we're doing. Saying that they're required at this point in time, anyone would have enough money if they did the treacherous tower. Oh, okay. I think I see why we need bombs now. Just to nip back and forth between rooms like this and change the overall structure, make myself get higher. In fact, we should be able to... Ooh, I, I wonder. Let's get rid of mini Moldorm guy first. There's a big bomb flower there. That's interesting in itself. Push myself up this side. And then see where I can get, eh? Uh, well, this looks interesting, but isn't really leading me to anything. Hmm. Yes! That is the solution. Just wondered if I could knock that from there. Well, with that said and done, can I just merge over? Answer, yes again. Right, well that said... Do we need to take you places? That's what gets me. Considering you're there, it makes sense that we would have to. You can get blown up as well, sir. Don't you hit my bomb whatsoever. I'm not taking that, that's for sure. Right, another switch over there. You get down. I don't mind about you staying down there. Okay, maybe I could chuck a bomb. Just to blow you up. I think that will do me. Come with me, bomb, if you want to live. Right. So where to next, you say? To be honest, I'd rather chuck one down there than forward. Get ready to fight this guy. Ooh, okay. Here's where the trouble lies, isn't it? Ah! No! I blew it up! That was not what was supposed to happen. I needed to go around this way by the look of it. And yes, there is a chest behind there, but... Got too worried about you. Right, with that said, let's nip ourselves back around, he says. And try to get what belongs to me, eh? Let's face it, it doth belong to me. All the same, I did miss a treasure along the way, but then 20 rupees again, not really what I want to find. But either way, I could bring myself back along this path. Which isn't full of minions or enemies, so we are quite clear to just run back to where we were at. Just the whole safety's reason of it. Right, ready? 
Uh, yeah, and then it's the me getting out of here without blowing up. That might be another problem, but finally we reach ourselves another chest and a small key as we start the exploration of Low Rule Castle. Obviously more puzzles to do here, maybe involving every item along the way. We have seen a couple of key doors, so can I say that we might be doing some zigzagging back and forth? So join me next time for The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds on Christmas Eve, and I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.